Welcome to another tiny, uh, it's not even a demonstration. I am just going to show off uh, this. You can't even see that well because the lights are kind of, is that bend? The lights are kind of weird. No. Uh, because um, of this. And uh, yeah, the lights are bad because this has its own light and the darker it is, the nicer it looks. So, welcome to Lazy Gadgets, and today, this looks very nice. I wanted to create a uh, MP40 that could be in Fallout, or uh, Metro, or some people even say Warhammer 40k, it's probably because of the green. And there's a pistol and a rifle that looks kind of like this. So, but yeah, I uh, really thought of uh, like Bioshock and uh, Fallout first. Um, I hope you can see this because a uh, uh, bit of uh, like leftover parts and handmade parts and even like a bit of resin in the in the yeah, let's say bullets. A lot of copper. Just for the X, and I wanted to try like a bit steampunky, but not too much. Um, the trigger does nothing on this one, by the way. I said it, it doesn't even hold a laser, it's really just uh, a prop. And now, before I run even more, let's uh, get a bit closer and have a look. The mag lights up, and that's about it. I am super mad with myself because. Uh, this little tank is also green, the same color actually, but uh, it doesn't light up because the the mag needed its own battery. So I, I don't want to, I didn't want to uh, put in a battery on the body somewhere because uh, that would have looked different. Because yeah, batteries need their own space. Um, so uh, yeah, no. A few black PVC hoses here and here. Uh, this it looks a bit more like a flamethrower. I, I wasn't even aware of that. Uh, I just wanted to connect the the, the, um, the heat sinks here, uh, which are actually two angled. That looks neat, and the side on top. Weak, weak. Okay, that is really. I put two magnets just to make sure it doesn't fall out. Um, doesn't fall out. <laughs> And, okay, I need a minute. When you talk total crap and you don't even, you don't even notice. So, uh, it lines up actually, I um, make sure of that, it really lines up, it's not, it's still not practical, so uh, don't tell me in the comments here, it's in the real side, I know that. It's just a um, prop. Ta-da! And even the like painted on uh, decals here, um, wooden grip. The rest is metal. I need a fancy guitar sound. Just whenever I say metal, I need to some shredding. Um, this says, by the way, MP40W, uh, common joke. Only a few on uh, Reddit got it, actually. That was a bit sad. Come on. 40 watt plasma gun. Come on. And on this side, we have a... Yeah, some sort of a barrel heat sink. I actually thought of the 18 because their guns have uh, fancy heat sinks. I don't even know what it is, Remington or something. Um, and yeah, another decal there. This is, by the way, taken from a uh, from an RC car engine. Um, and the rest is really yeah, homemade, self-made. Except for the, of course, the knob is not self-made. Uh, that's a regular spare part you can buy. Uh, this on here, like this, the 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 piping here, solid copper. The the tiny um, copper pipes here, two millimeter, just for the just for a bit more detail. I even made tiny um, brass adapters for them, so they don't just go into the metal. And yeah, here another another tiny hand wheel. Those are really nice for um, steampunk stuff. 
And yeah, what do you see here? Like the, the dirt is actual rust. Uh, like last time on the, on the fallout rifle. Uh, laser rifle. Real rust with powder, powdered iron and, um, vinegar. Super stinky, but it looks great. Uh, I think it's a bit too much rust, actually. Let me know what you think in the comments. <clears throat> Especially like after a few days when it looks really orange and, uh, really brown. It's just a bit too much. What's also special is, oh yeah, there it is, um, the barrel. Since it's a plasma gun, you don't really need a regular bore and no caliber. It's basically a, another heat sink implemented in the barrel, in the muzzle. And even from the front, it looks awesome. Like all the detail, it took quite a while, especially with that kind of with that tiny bonus you see in a minute, not even a minute, probably like 10 seconds, 10, 9, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, I made a tiny sidearm. While I was making this, I was thinking, wouldn't it be cool to have a, um, wouldn't it be awesome to have a sidearm that looks kind of like this? Like they match, and uh, this is it. Also very fallouty, and again, no, no laser. See, eh, dummy. So yeah, it's also a bit of too much rust when it when it gets real rusty. It's just too much, but yeah, looks nice. The broom handle, just because I don't like the the regular stumpy, stubby, bulky grip of the MP40, is blah, blah. So I made this, and then a little tank in the typical uh, Fallout colors, olive and yellow. And you see the next to each other. Isn't that cute? Like a little family. Oh. Okay, now it's getting weird. Um, next thing, I actually wanted to make the video after finishing the the stand, but uh, they are not sold yet, and maybe the uh, future buyer has to say something about the stand, lights, no lights, uh, some weird gang signs, I don't know. So um, I just want to show you this and maybe in some in a future video I might grab this just before I sell it and uh, take a quick picture or on my maybe next year in the in the best off or something. You'll see them again. Since there's no laser demo I'm afraid uh, that's it. But there will be more I am still working on the the Skyrim blast weapons, and actually the one of them is is laying like right here next to the camera. But I don't want to spoil anything, so uh, I gotta finish this, and uh, you see that in the next or next after next or next after next after next video. Stay tuned. I see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Leave a um, how's it called like, and uh, if you haven't subscribed already, consider it just in case you're a sci-fi gun nut like me. Um, and uh, yeah, have a good one.